when I first started coming to the racetrack, I could bet and I could handicap the races that were at that track. They ran eight races that day. I had eight races. I didn't have to worry about racing anyplace else. But today, with simulcasting, at this track, there's live action in front of me, and I have the capability of betting on perhaps 12 to 15 other tracks. There's a, a horse ownership is a social occasion, especially if you're in it as a partnership, as I was when I started out. I joined a group called Cyberspace Racing Team uh, that had a group here in Maryland, and we would buy a, a horse, perhaps there were 10 or 15 of us for a particular horse. Wasn't super expensive on any individual, but those were social occasions. We'd gather we, at, the, at that particular race. If the horse won, boy, we had celebration. If the horse lost, hmm, well, we had a celebration. It was a social occasion and a lot of fun, but it was also a learning experience. When I first came to uh, the tracks back in the 50s, it was more of a formal occasion. You came dressed in business clothing. Uh, the ladies that would come to the track were in dresses and hats, and the men were in coats and ties. Now well, there were only a few of those types of occasions that occur uh, throughout the nation. It occurs. Uh, well, at the Preakness here in Maryland at um, Pimico, it'll happen in next weekend um, at Churchill Downs in Kentucky when they run the Kentucky Derby. Betting, it's pastime. Sometimes I'm happy just picking horses and see how they, how they run. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm generally very happy with the time I spend at a track.